Hi, this is Chitran Shaksana from Just Tutors. In this video, we are going to learn about electricity. These are the objectives we will learn today. Heating effect of uh, electric current, some practical applications of heating effect of electric current and then we will learn about electric power. So, heating effect of electric current. If an electric circuit is purely resistive, that is only resistors are connected to a battery, the energy from the source con uh, continually gets dissipated totally in the form of heat. This effect is called heating effect of electric current. It is effectively utilized in heater, electric iron, electric toaster, etc. An electric bulb becomes warm if used continuously for a longer period of time. Another example would be the water heater where the electrical energy is converted into heat energy. Let's suppose current I is flowing through a resistance of capital R. Let the potential difference across it be capital V. Let me write it for you. Current flowing is capital I. Resistance is R. And potential difference ac across them is V. And the time during which a charge flows across is capital T. The work done in moving a charge Q Coulomb through a potential difference V is VQ. So we can say W is equal to VQ. Hence the source must supply the energy equal to VQ in time t. So we can say P is equal to VI is equal to V over V into Q over T. This gives us H is equal to VIT where H is heat generated. Now some effects of electric current of heating. The heat produced by uh, heating element is directly proportional to square of the electric current I passing through the conductor, resistance of the conductor and time t for which current passes through the conductor and it is given by the expression at is equal to capital I square RT and the SI unit is joule and it is given or it is also known as joule's law. Here is an example. Let's say 400 joule of heat is produced such that in a, force, in a 4 ohm resistance, find the potential difference across the resistance. So, 4 joule, it means it is uh, heat produced, H is equal to 400, time is 1 second, R is 4 ohms, and we need to find potential difference, that is capital T. Using the formula, H is equal to I square RT, we'll get after solving, I is equal to 10A. Then we'll put this uh, this value in V is equal to IR, I is 10 and R is 4, so it total gives us 40 volts. Some practical applications. Some common applications of joule heating are an incandescent light bulb glows when the filament is heated, electric stoves and electric iron, soldering iron and uh, cartridge heaters, electric fuses generated through enough heat will be generated to melt the fuse wire. Thermistors and resistance thermometers are resistors whose resistance char uh, changes when the temperature changes. Electric power. Electric power is usually produced by electric generators but can also be supplied by source such as electric batteries. Electric power is the rate at which electric energy is transferred by an electric circuit. SI unit of power is watt equals to 1 joule per second and the expression which is given for this is P is equal to I square R. An example, an electric kettle rated 500 watts operates 10 hours per day. What is the cost of energy to operate it for 10 days? At rupees 5 per kilowatt per hour. So here's calculation done for you. You can check it by doing yourself. I'm going to explain it once. The total energy consumed by kettle in one day would be 500 watts into 10 days per day 10 hours per day the total energy consumed by the kettle in one day would be 500 watts into 10 hours per day into 10 days is equal to 50,000 watts per hour and uh, when we divide it by 1000 it will give us 50 kilowatts hour thus the cost of energy to operate the electric kettle for 10 days is 50 kilowatts per hour into fair 5 rupees which will give you rupees 250 here are some practice questions you could try all the facts you've learned in this uh, video and put in the, these questions. Pause the video, after that check your answers while completing all these questions. 
here are your answers if your answers are correct then very well done you have made really good progress keep it up and that's all for this video for more videos please visit justtutors.com thank you